guys okay I'm doing a video today on the Mac mineralized SPF foundation um, I just got this today this is what I'm wearing um, all I did was I put the I went in to try it and like the chick couldn't even like I like did my own foundation in Mac I guess just because you work there doesn't mean you know how to do everybody's makeup but anyway I just did it myself because yeah, I didn't like how she did it. She did it really too light, I guess. Anyway, I like the foundation. Um, the makeup I did when I got home. Because I just went in there real quick to get this foundation. And um, so this is, I mean, I'm wearing it right now. But this is how it comes in the store. Um, like when you get it, it has a foil in it. And that's pretty cool because, can you see it? That's pretty cool, like, so it could keep your, you know, foundation fresh, I guess, than the other ones. I guess it doesn't matter once you unseal it, you know, anyway, just like I did. <laughs> but, um, and it has the mirror, and then it has, um, under, oops, under here, it has the sponge, and just like the, it's just like the Bobbi Brown one. I don't recommend you put your foundation in here. Um, your foundation brush because in case it sheds I ruined a foundation doing that anyway um, and I suggest if you're gonna get this you go a shade lighter I'm usually a Mac um, NC 42 and in the winter maybe a 40 this is NC 35 and like I showed you um, this is how dark it is so I mean, I know a lot of you are going to order it online. So just be careful. I mean, I think you guys should, if you're going to order it online without seeing it, you probably should order um, a shade lighter. So that's just my recommendation. And even the girls at the matte counter were saying um, that these shades, for some reason, they're, they tend to run darker than the other ones. And anyway, um, I went in to get this also with the Kems with the lines, the new 130 brush. And I was like, um, Matt, I mean, I heard this brush was coming out because, you know, Mac does their stuff way in advance. So this was going to launch anyway with um, this collection. But I thought it would be more comparable <clears throat> with the Mac, um, not the Mac, the Sigma SS 197. But the only thing that they're the same is, is kind of just like the size and, but look at, they're such different brushes. I mean, look at, uh, just look at them together. They're so different. And this one's so much more dense and this one is not. So, you know, it's easier to go, um, if you're going to stipple, go, you know, blend. But actually, I kind of like this for, like, your cream blushes or um, your highlighters. Because you could just dab, you know, and then blend. Me, personally, um, I really like this Sigma brush. Um, so, you know, like I said, I'd probably use this more with that foundation than I would this one. Um, like I said, I do like this brush, but they're really not comparable. I mean, they're just like way different in size. And the density is so different. And anyway, both good brushes. But anyway, that's just my little spiel on them. But anyway, I do like the foundation. And I do have, I have oily skin and large pores. So... I'm seeing if I like this and um, oh even even actually like before I put um, like the strobe cream on I put it on with this um, at the store because I have the strobe cream I know it comes in liquid but any you know thing so that's just my little spiel I would recommend this and oh and it comes with a little direction in case you're, I don't know, it tells you to gently remove foil before use. So that's a real important tip. Anyway, okay, that's just my little 
show and tell for Mac. Thanks. Bye.